29 <laughs> was um, yeah pretty cool it was old Mount Bryony school to blackjack hut which I didn't actually expect a hut I thought it was just gonna be a shelter and a campsite but yeah it's an actual like really nice um, seems like a fairly newly built hut here um, yeah so that's cool um, I was kind of looking forward to tenting it though I haven't been used my tent for ages um, but tomorrow's another pretty big day so I figure one less thing to have to pack up in the morning so yeah um, I'll stay in here I'm just finishing a sneaky hot chocolate that I made because I thought why not I have like extras and I should be in Burra tomorrow so I don't need to carry this stuff anymore I've still got my hot chocolate to have for later after dinner so <laughs> that's all that matters it was extremely foggy when I left this morning I was keeping an eye out looking outside the windows and that um, as I was packing up just hoping that it would lift before I was ready to set off but nope um, I didn't want to wait too long because I felt like I had a pretty big day today Gami said it was 28 k's I think I was expecting about 30 something I knew there was a gorge walk so I didn't know how like badly that would slow me up um, so yeah I wanted to get away at a fairly decent time uh, <laughs> I had my I left with my poncho on because I just wanted to try and keep all my gear dry I had knickers trying to dry on the outside of my pack um, even though I thought if it's just morning dew like hopefully everything else like it'll all dry throughout the day anyway but I wasn't sure so yeah I left with the poncho on um, but that soon came off because it's kind of annoying uh, so yeah then I was just walking along with my rab on while I had a pretty decent dirt road I thought I would try and take advantage again and you know move along at a reasonable pace and then I came to a turn off onto more of like a jeep track uh, and I was walking along that for all the while before I came to the or well, one of the entrances to Karuna Creek Conservation Park so yeah entered into that and then I knew the gorge was pretty much like straight after that so it was stunning through there like I would actually want to do a trip just up to into the conservation park and um, yeah do that whole walk again and can't suss the actual camping grounds out um, they were down another road so I didn't get to see them the rock formations and the type of rock like I should by now I should really remember like all the different kinds of rock in this whole area <laughs> because I've read so many different signs on the moor well mainly up in the Flinders anyway I suppose this is a different a different area um, but yeah just the angles and the type of rock it just looked amazing it was so cool in there a few times the trail just followed in the creek um, which yeah it was fine it wasn't like a Flinders Ranges kind of creek walk it was it was fine it was pretty easy walking and there wasn't much water in there so yeah it was uh, pretty easy to navigate through and it didn't actually hold me up that much I don't think I was still able to keep like a pretty decent pace going through there um, 
I still had to stop like a heap of times and just admire the the rocks and just the actual gorge. It was yeah, it was pretty cool through there. And then made it out the other side and um, continued on along uh, more jeep track kind of things. I did have um, a little section of just walking along the fence uh, but that didn't last for very long. Uh, I came, then came to a creek and crossed that and then I was sort of back onto a track again I think. I was walking straight across this, it must have still been in the conservation park um, but it seemed to go on forever. It was pretty, it was a fairly straight line and it was just walking along this track and um yeah it just kept going and going and going along there though was the sign for the most easterly point along the trail so that's good passing that and it made me feel good take me south now god damn it <laughs> south from now on and then it came to like a uh, bit of a junction with some like park signs and that uh, which was pretty cool so yeah like I said the campground was down one way and Hyson Trail another so didn't get to see that but I would like to yeah go back there for a camp for sure not far from there was the um, Karuna Creek shelter or camp area um along the high scene. Well, I got into camp like just going on 11 now so <laughs> super early I'm making pretty good time I should get into blackjack shelter at a pretty decent time so yeah probably don't need to rush as much as I have been this morning this camp is pretty cool hopefully blackjack is uh just as good. After that, it was just following jeep tracks over little hills until getting here. So, like I said, I wasn't expecting a hut, so to speak. Um, but yeah, walking up to it, I thought, oh, okay, this is cool. <laughs> and then, yeah, like coming inside and having a sass. This one even smells kind of new. Well, paint anyway. But yeah. Yeah. Simple but nice. Got this cute little thing. Oh, it's even got like a USB charger. I didn't notice that before. But yeah, you can turn it on. And then. I know the other light works, I haven't tried to try this one yet. <laughs> and got little solar lights. Cute. <laughs> so yeah, that's cool. I plug my phone in. 
it was nice getting into a place that wasn't cold like as soon as I stopped for a few minutes I wasn't cold and wanting to get changed so that was so good like I, yeah I probably should get changed I will soon but yeah like the sun's sort of just going down now um, and it was yeah it was warm in here so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing for later because if it was warm in here during the day I'm wondering if it's gonna get freezing in here tonight I don't know <laughs> pretty much uh, sat down and got out a heap of snacks to eat because I thought I don't really need them anymore I don't want to carry them into town tomorrow so all of my like leftover like snacky snacks I pretty much ate <laughs> I still do have like you know a heap of chocolate and like a few little um, chocolate bars um, I've got my jerky to eat tomorrow so I have left myself stuff for tomorrow of course I've got um, lollies nuts and a couple of bars to snack on tomorrow during the hike but yeah pretty much just wanted to eat everything else I figure I would try the uh, mushroom bolognese tonight I don't really like mushroom but um yeah I don't know if they're not huge chunks I should be able to chomp through it all right um I figure I'd try that one and hopefully I can eat it and I like it um, because obviously I've still got a spare meal in there because I've combined another two days into one. It's kind of a bugger that the uh, toilet here is destroyed. I don't know what the hell happened to it. I think there was a toilet here. It's the old shelter. Yeah. Don't know what happened to it. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of a shame because I kind of felt like a number two was coming and um, wanted to get that done tonight or in the morning, but uh, I don't know. It can either wait or I'll just have to go out and dig a hole. Anyway, that's about it for day 29. Um, yeah, it was, it was actually just a nice change from rolling green hills, as pretty as they are. Um, I'm definitely more of a bush person, so yeah, today was pretty cool. Um, amazing gorge wicked rocks and just a lot of it yeah a lot of the walking was through like a a bush pretty much and i feel like even though my feet probably don't appreciate it i definitely prefer these longer days um so i still got into here pretty early around three probably so yeah I probably don't even really need to get up and get going as early as I have been but um yeah I had a couple of these days planned in my um, itinerary and they were only sort of about 15 16 k's and I mean yeah I was getting that done with the sleep in sort of by just after lunch or like today getting into camp which would have been my camp for the night around 11 without much of a sleep in so yeah Definitely, yeah, I definitely prefer the longer, fuller days. Um, I get too bored just 
sitting around when I get to like the the day's end destination too early um, there's only like so much food I can eat and so many allocated snacks so yeah it's only so much phone battery and power bank battery <laughs> so um, yeah, I definitely prefer to spend the uh, bulk of the day on the trail, for sure. Yeah, so tomorrow will probably be like that. Um, I do want to try and set a pretty good pace if I can. Obviously, I want to get into town at a decent time, not too late, because I'll obviously have a, um, a room to get into. So, yeah. Uh, that'll be tomorrow, heading into Barra. So, hey, two rest days, yay. <laughs> I'm feeling so lazy now. Anyway, so yeah, stay tuned for that. See you later.